This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at secondary cells. We'll start by looking at the difference between a primary and secondary cell. In a primary cell, the electrochemical reaction is not reversible. Primary cells are designed to be used once and then discarded. Secondary cells are rechargeable. They involve redox reactions that can be reversed using electricity. Examples of secondary cells include lead acid, nickel cadmium and lithium ion batteries. We'll start by looking at a lead acid battery. In a lead acid battery, the anode is lead, the cathode is lead oxide and the electrolyte is sulfuric acid. Here we have the reaction that occurs at the anode. Lead is oxidized to form lead sulfate. At the cathode, lead oxide is reduced to also form lead sulfate. And here we can see the overall equation for the reaction. The sulfuric acid is used up in the reaction. When the battery is recharged, the reverse reactions take place. Next we look at nickel cadmium batteries. A nickel cadmium battery uses nickel oxide hydroxide and metallic cadmium as electrodes. At the anode, cadmium is oxidized to form cadmium hydroxide. At the cathode, nickel oxide hydroxide is reduced to form nickel hydroxide. And here we have the overall equation for the reaction. When the battery is recharged, the reverse reactions take place. And finally, we look at the lithium ion battery. Lithium ion batteries use lithium atoms absorbed onto a lattice of graphite electrodes for the anode and a lithium cobalt oxide complex for the cathode. So here we have a diagram of a lithium ion battery. The anode is lithium atoms on graphite and the cathode is a lithium cobalt oxide complex. Lithium ions pass from the anode to the cathode in the polymer electrolyte. Electrons pass in the external circuit from the anode to cathode. 